Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube video. You are here with your GBHL host, GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. And we're rounding up round two of Middle Earth's Deadliest Warband. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, go on, do it. Middle Earth's Deadliest Warband. <laughs> That's right. Middle Earth's Deadliest. You can't say Middle Earth's Deadliest Warbands, you know, initially. It's like the whole, <laughs> like, uh, Cha Cha Master. Cha Cha Master thing. Cha Cha. That's right, you've got to say it a particular way. Yeah. And it has been so exciting. It's been good. <gasps> what happened in round two? So round two, we, first one we saw was Dwarves versus Moria. I am so sorry, all of you dwarf lovers out there, who hate me now. Yeah. For, uh, for running forward with that dwarf king. <laughs> I thought it'd be alright. I thought, defence eight, it'll be alright. Tempt you forward, I'll get you. I'm I didn't think you'd kill him. When you got that six by four, <laughs> re-rolled, because you re-rolled as well with a yeah, fainting. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you know I've got two dice here. I've still got one might. You know, might be okay. Yeah. No, no, no. He went down, and then it was a really exciting game after that. Yeah, most you'd have been complaining about the audio. Uh, apologies, apologies. We were but, very excited. Um, we're not a professional organisation. No, we don't have we don't have mics or anything. It's mics just or buffers done or? by this camera that's recording at the moment, which is just a little digicam. Yeah, so I, think, I think in future we might sort of make sure on the editing that yeah. the sound is... That was my fault. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was a really exciting nice game. So, so Moria progressed. Moria progressed. They're into the semi-finals, round three. Got to be one of the favourites. Yeah. Got to be up there now. They've, they've taken down some scalps. They really have. Yeah. Then we saw Lothlorien versus Angmar. Lothlorien versus Angmar. And again, that was myself versus you. Yeah. Angmar were tough up against it, that one. That was a tough matchup for Angmar to, to pull. Yeah, and whereas they had benefited against the Army of Thrall by striking Courage, yeah. they didn't really did, have It didn't matter against the Elves. The Elves are Defence 5 and Courage 5, so there's no bonus there. Uh, no bonuses. Um, and there's felt like within them is just not going to work. No. Unfortunately. Uh, not against that Courage. So, no, didn't, they didn't do very well. <laughs> no. And then next up we had... We had uh, Isengard versus Easterlings, which I, you played. I did play that, and that was me versus... Alistair, wasn't it? Alistair. Alistair took control of the Eastlings after he had led the Eastlings to victory versus Arnor. Yep. And that was a massacre. Yeah. That was a massacre. It was a complete massacre to you, Isengard. You expect that to be the, be the case. Isengard you, have got to be one of the favourites. You break off into those one-on-one -on -one fights, and you've got your two dice versus their one, and the Berserkers are going to kill that kind of stuff. That's right, and there was a couple of really cool moments in there, for example, where the... Um, crossbowman shot into a combat with the Candish King, <laughs> knowing that you are, you might get his horse, or, or, you get him, or you might kill your own model. Killed my own model, stopped him from the heroic, heroic combat. combat. Exactly. Yeah. So it was a win-win and a very cool game. Thanks very much, Alistair. So Isengard have progressed. So, so we should say, in the semi-final now, that means they're on three. We're going to see Moria versus Lothlorien. That's that first bracket mashed up. That's right. So now we've got Isengard versus the winner of, it was... Numenor. Numenor versus Corsair Reavers. Or Corsair, yeah, Reavers. And another massacre. Yeah. Piercing striking, fight five, two attacks. That was grim. Num <sighs> Numenor needed to do better with shooting to even stand a chance. But even then, I don't think they'd have... Oh, and needed to... Well, you actually killed quite a lot of Reavers. You did kill yeah. a lot of Reavers. Your captain going down the way that captain you needed. Di <laughs> captain fluffed his first charge. Yeah. I didn't expect that to happen so quick. Yes, he got taken down quite quick. His horse got killed. I then did the. Then he then he rolled the one, ended up on the floor. You got onto him whilst he was on the heroic floor. Combat, yeah, and then you were reluctant to heroic strike, strike because keeping it for heroic. So I was shield in. He's not, pro but no, he, he died. He horribly. died very very horribly. And so the corsairs again another favourite. Yeah, so that means we see Isengard versus the corsair reavers in the semi-finals. Isengard versus corsair reavers. That. Yeah. Is gonna come down to shooting. The the, the eyes are gonna get probably ten shots with their crossbows. If they do well with that shooting, they should take it. Five. They they should kill. So they, they should two kill or three. Two or three. No, no, they, they, they get ten shots over the two turns. So it's five each turn. Two or three die before combat. And that could be the reavers nearly broken before combat starts. Yeah. So it really does depend. How on that shooting. On that shooting. Yeah. Uh, so it'd be really interesting to see that match up mm -hmm. because the winner of that is going to potentially play against the winner of, well, they are going to play the winner of mm. our semi final. Of Moria Lothlorien. And that's going to be an interesting one. So that, let, let's, let, let's theorise a little bit at the moment. So Moria Lothlorien, if Moria win, I think Moria have got a tough time against both of those forces. Yes. They are lower than the fight value, which is the same as every fight they've been in, but. Uh, their 
up against the strength four, which negates their defense six, and the one marauders aren't going to be as effective. No. Let's say Lothlorien win that. Lothlorien stand a good chance against the Reavers, but not the uh, Isengard force mm -hmm. because of the defense six. Because of the defense six. So it's going to be very, very exciting. We would like you to comment below and let us know what do you think is going to happen in the semi-finals. Yes. In the semi-finals. We're going to go and play some of these now. <laughs> oh, I'll try not to let you all down. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever you're back in, I'll do my best. So this has been GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. Reviewing uh, Diddliest Warband so far. Yep. Make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming. <laughs>